So originally, I didn't want to make a video on this because there are so many videos on the internet already. However, today it was the first day of my class and I was going over what of operations with my students as a review. And I thought it would be fun to give them like a viral map questions from the internet. So I gave them this. And you guessed it. Some people were saying the answer is 1 and some people were saying the answer is 16. So let me just make a video for my students and let me make this clear. So, 8 divided by 2 parentheses 2 plus 2. This is how people end up with 1. Almost everybody will tell you we do 2 plus 2 first, so that's okay. So we have 8 divided by 2. Keep the parentheses. 2 plus 2 is 4. Yeah. Now, we have 8 divided by 2 parentheses 4. Some people will say do the parentheses first, right? Which is this and that. And some people will also say, because this parentheses now means to multiply. And because of PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. You see how M is multiplication, which is before division for the D. So you multiply this and that. And we end up with 8. Keep the division. 2 times 4 is 8. And now we can just go ahead and divide, and we end up with 1. Well, I will tell you, no, this is not correct. Right? This is not correct. And by the way, I should also mention this right here. Some people will say they hate this question because how the expression is written in the first place. I, I will tell you, there's nothing to hate about this. This is totally fine. We have division and also the parentheses all that there's only one answer for this okay we just have to follow the what if operations correctly and there's no argument at all this right here not good because it does suggest you that multiplication is before division which is not true this is the correct way to do it 8 divided by 2 parentheses 2 plus 2 well again 2 plus 2 first. You do what's inside of the parentheses first all the time. And then just keep 8 divided by 2, and then the parentheses, and then we have the 4. Now, this parentheses, there's nothing inside, right? It's just, there's 4 inside. But there's no more operations inside of the parentheses. So, we look at this as 2 times 4. So, if you would like, you can write this as 8 divided by 2 times 4. Uh, we can use the classic multiplication symbol for the multiplication here. Then we see that division and multiplication, in fact, in fact, they are on the same level of the order of operations. So when you see both of them in the same expression, what you do is you just do it from left to right. So you approach it from 8 divided by 2 first, which is 4, and then you carry down the times 4, and then you end up with 16. And this is the answer for that. Just real quick, this is the word of operations, and this is how I like to present it to my students. Addition or subtraction at the bottom level, and then the next level above is multiplication or division. Now, see this and that, if they are on the same level, if you see them together, then you do it from left to right. Likewise, multiplication or division, you do it from left to right. right so that's just the typical order that we follow. And in fact, Multiplication and division, they are called the opposite operation. When you solve equations, such as if you have 5 times x is equal to 15, if you want to get rid of the 5, you will divide by 5. So you can get rid of this, and then you do the same thing on the right-hand side. So you can get x is equal to 3. Yeah, But I'm not talking about solving equations here. Anyway, though, so they cannot behave similarly, that's all I'm trying to say. And earlier, if you see two parentheses 4, 
don't just do the parentheses because the parentheses, the P right here, means what's inside first. Originally, we have 2 plus 2, right? That's the operation inside of the parentheses. You do it first. So the P should be inside of the parentheses. Yeah. And again, pandas, uh, not my favorite. This right here, it's better. What does the E stand for? It stands for exponents. Yes. But later on, you also see square roots. You also see absolute value. And if you do trick, you also see sine cosine, right? So right here, I will put down other operations. But this right here, the main focus is this. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 